two guys cheating on you mm -hmm. and therefore now you want to you know die by suicide right. or you want to no. You cannot do that. No. no. Absolutely. You have yeah. you have goals, you have potential, you you're much Dreams. better than that. You are enough. You're beautiful. Yes. yes. Stop it. Yes. Yeah, yes. let's yes. move on. Yes. No need for love triangle no. issues. No. Stop no, your, no. in fact, wish them well. Right. And Absolutely. Move on. Yes, the so <laughs> wish them well <laughs> and move on, girl. Yes. 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 Because yes. there is a better one yes. for you. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. yes. And for the young men that are cheating. Mm. Come on, you mm -hmm. can do better. We mm -hmm. need some gentlemen. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, <laughs> some protectors. Yes. Some yes. protectors, some fighters. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we ask all the young men to please step up because yes. we also care about them. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And I'm sure the young men that are also watching are wondering, we also get hired in this process. They also get yeah. yeah. And we right. don't want them hired. The right. same applies it's to same them. Applies to them. Yeah. 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 All right. Yes. Uh, now, I want to touch on trauma, trauma a little yes. bit because that's what yes. you deal with. Yes. So, p some people have gone through trauma, yes. uh, you know, from childhood and now they're in their youth. How do they, you know, rise above that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, and we've been talking about it, around about it, but trauma, it just overwhelms the body to the point where it makes it just difficult to do things. And even thinking, when you've been traumatized, you cannot process information mm -hmm. clearly. You can, you know, so, so it's important that when we um, uh, look and see how trauma affects us, what it does it is that it, it stresses us out to the point where it ages us mm -hmm. internally. And we begin to be, we are older on the inside than we show on the outside. Mm -hmm. And, and, any issues or predispositions that you have, for example, there, if there are family health issues, those issues tend to grow. And, and the, the, the trauma manifests diseases mm -hmm. in your body because the trauma is hiding in your weakest organ in your bodies. Mm -hmm. And it's important for us to understand that in order to get rid of this trauma, one easy step is to talk. Another easy step, and, and I, I love watching, uh, when we first got here, I saw the youth dancing in the background, dancing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sports. Mm -hmm. All of those things are ways to get the stress out of the body and outside. Mm -hmm. Because inside the body, it just destroys our organs. It mm -hmm. destroys us and ages us on the inside. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. Yeah. So we, they need to address it and... Talk, talking to someone out. is the easiest thing to do. Yes. And are uh, crying, singing, yes. dancing, yes, movement. moving, just moving, walking, mm -hmm. going by uh, water, sitting and listening to the water, mm -hmm. anything that causes you to move and do something engage. is going to yes. engage in something that's going to help you. Okay. Yes. Awesome. All right. Uh, Dr. Wade, so... Um, your organization, you've been doing a lot of training. Yes. And uh, you just mentioned just before the interview that you were in Bungoma and, uh, you know, you've helped girls there with sanitary towels. Yeah. So, usually, um, a girl coming from that kind of background, you know, there's the shame that's associated, mm -hmm. yes. you know, with periods. Mm -hmm. And then them coming to the city when they get an opportunity and then the culture shock that's there, mm -hmm. you know, it's sort of affects them mentally yeah. and uh, the esteem. So how would you advise? Oh, goodness. Um, I think if you, what we told the girls is to keep moving forward, keep furthering your education, mm -hmm. but to also Dreaming. talk to other people, seek out your dreams, really focus on what you want to do with your life and don't be afraid to pursue those dreams and goals. Mm -hmm. Seek help. Um, I'm reiterating this for a reason. Yeah. Reach outside of yourself. Don't be afraid to cry because I saw some of the girls in that community cry. Wow. Oh goodness, it broke my heart, but it, it warmed my heart too because they weren't afraid to show that emotion with us. Mm -hmm. Uh, to the boys in that area, support the girls in, yeah. uh, with their dreams, with uh, feminine products. Don't uh, stigmatize that the normal human biological 
thing that we've been given by God. Um, so to really focus on, I am worthy, I have value, and mm -hmm. to really target that shame and guilt. Okay. There is a difference between guilt and shame. Guilt says, I did something bad. Shame says, I am bad. Really be mindful of that. All right. Okay, I'll take a note of that. Okay, yeah. To engage you, you have to say on that. Yeah, we had a great time with the girls, and I think the shame and guilt, it's unfortunate, and we go, we keep going back to normalizing the conversation. Mm -hmm. It's okay to have personal products. We all need them, mm -hmm. right? All the girls, and our men, the boys, our uncles and cousins, nephews should be proud of buying mm -hmm. those products for your nieces, okay? It, it helps. Yes. Uh, we need to keep our girls, we, we need them to look up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, the girls have dreams. And it was so beautiful to just listen to them talk about the, their potential, their goals in life. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of this was we had law enforcement officers actually take the lead mm -hmm. to give the sanitary towels. Wow. So yeah. that's the big brothers supporting the girls. Yes. yes. I think to me that was the highlight. That yes. Was. Yeah. That yeah. I agree. Beautiful. Yeah. Very yeah. Beautiful. So we need to also um, bridge the gap mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. between the law enforcement and the community so we can normalize the conversation and humanize this whole yeah. <laughs> you know, yes. life issues. They're not issues, actually. Yeah. That, that's who we are. We right. cannot run away yeah. from it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. Yeah. All right. Now, um, before we come to a close in this conversation, for, for girls and boys in the African setup, there are different challenges that they face. Um, so my question is, uh, mental resilience for men uh, as compared to, to ladies, how different is it? Resilience Resilience is how you move through, how you push through issues and still come out stronger on the other side than you were going into it, mm -hmm. okay? That's the resilience. The one thing about uh, men is men ha have challenges talking mm -hmm. about True. what's going on. Mm -hmm. And so, and they keep things to themselves typically more than women do. Women, we just, talk yes. Yes. you know <laughs> we just talk and we will just and we'll say how are you my sister what's going on <laughs> i see something's wrong but mm -hmm. you know what what's what's going on mm -hmm. and we talk we cry we'll get it out but it's still moving on what you mm -hmm. go, you're supposed to move on on what you said you're going to do and not forgetting to have you know to keep those dreams in front of you but there there's a big difference in how men and women, and then the stigma that comes with it. Mm -hmm. You know, men, if you cry, uh, you're you know, not man you're enough, not yeah. enough yeah. which is a lie straight from the pit of hell. Mm -hmm. It is, it is not true. true, that is not true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People, feelings, when you hurt, you hurt. Yeah. Men or women, exactly. you can cry. Okay. Yes. So men can cry. Men can yes. cry. And it's okay to show yes. off yes. their emotions. Yes. 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 All right. What about women? That this stages of life, uh, especially uh, when you're getting to marriage, you know the expectations. You know, young people get married early sometimes. Yes. <laughs> so when they get to, when they get to go to marriage, there's this expectation that you're supposed to have children, mm -hmm. and this it has been fertility week. So uh, I want to you to address it. So. You know, you expect her to get children, and uh, maybe you're having a challenge with <laughs> yes, that. Yes. So, how do you ignore the voices around you oh, and just that's focus? So good. Yeah. <sighs> Do you, oh, do you want me to yeah, answer? Yeah, okay, yeah. Sad. So I encourage everyone to be mindful of that shame and guilt. So yes. this has nothing, nothing, nothing to do with fertility issues, anything like that. And I know uh, from what I'm learning about the culture is children are a big, important part of the culture, as yeah, yeah. many cultures. Our culture is the same way. Mm -hmm. But this has nothing to do with your worth and value as a person. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen when you want it to. It may not happen naturally at all. Mm -hmm. And you still have to know that you have worth and value even when you hear all those voices around you. Okay. Yes. Awesome. And to yes. add on to that, mm -hmm. our brain is <laughs> not completely developed uh -huh. until we're 25 to 30 years old. Right. Okay. Yes. Think about that. <laughs> How many of us, including myself, had children before you were 25 with an incomplete brain? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were not able to process <laughs> like you, not like you're supposed to. So it's important to remember that. And just to think that with maturity, 
comes wisdom and how I can relate and talk to this young person that I've now brought into the world. Mm. All right. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. This is so good. <laughs> yeah, I think there's no need to be pressured by the society, yeah. mm -hmm. right? If you're, you know, w once somebody is married, uh, I want to believe that they have their own personal conversations. Sometimes we don't know why people are, there's a delay in, uh, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. pregnancy or having children and all of that. So we need mm -hmm. to give people a break. I almost want to say, give me a break, right? Give right. people a break. Give me right. a break. <laughs> because you don't know what I'm struggling with. It yeah. could be yeah. health, physical health issues, other issues. Um, and children, they are a gift from mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes. it's God who decides. Right. Exactly. exactly. Yes. Yes. Bottom line. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And it's also personal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So we need to give people a break. <laughs> and also let the older cancel or encourage yes. the younger right exactly instead yeah. of the shaming and guilt yes, mm. yes. we just need to stop absolutely absolutely yes. Yes. all right so now i am tempted to ask another question <laughs> when i want to close it um there's one thing let me see if i if i miss it um there's it's easy. No, you've said, talk to someone, talk to someone. So maybe you're that friend who's always being talked to, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, maybe you're not going through stuff, but that does that affect you at some point? What do you need an out, yes. you know, how do you let it out yourself? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Let me Do you know it. secondary trauma? You, you're not only traumatized by what you see or witness yourself, mm -hmm. but you can get traumatized by what you hear and read from other people. So it's important to understand that when people are coming to you uh -huh. and talking to you about their issues, it can traumatize you. Yes. It, no, it will traumatize you too. Okay. So you've got to understand that when they're talking to you, you can show empathy, uh, but yeah. not accept and absorb everything that they're saying to you. Yeah. That's really important. Mm -hmm. Sh yes, please. It's also called compassion fatigue. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. As a mental health yeah. counselor, okay. so it happens to us professionals as well. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes it's just too too much. Overwhelming. Yes. yes. So yes, I encourage yes. you to still be a warm, inviting friend and family member, but you have to have that boundary of to say, you know what? I think I need some extra help here. Maybe you need to talk to your pastor or mm -hmm. someone who can better help as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you also need to talk to someone. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, awesome. So now let me ask the Sangishi to give, you know, each one of you actually, to give uh, one last advice for the youth that are watching. Last advice, you are unstoppable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only person who can stop you is you. That's right. Mm -hmm. yep. You matter. Yes. And therefore, keep fighting a good fight. Be your mm -hmm. own advocate and don't stop your dreams. That's mm -hmm. right. Yes. Yes. That's right. Okay. Yes. Awesome. I love that. Yes. <laughs> And I would say you're not alone. Yes. There are people who care about you. Mm -hmm. People you don't even know who are praying for you today, mm -hmm. for your dreams for tomorrow. So just know. And, and if you find one person who supports you, you are rich. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. true. Lovely. Yeah. So two That's things. Yeah. I want to reiterate the importance of movement. You asked earlier about men and women, the difference in resiliency. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting, mental toughness, if you participate in sports, but even movement, walking, yeah. you can develop your mental toughness as a female as much as a male. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's equal. The research shows that. Mm -hmm. And then just to reiterate also, you have worth, value, do not give up. Please reach out to someone because yeah. someone cares. Okay, yeah. wow. I love all this. I'm taking them all home with me. <laughs> I hope that you have uh, taken key points from this lovely conversation. Thank you very much, ladies, for coming on board. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Such Thank amazing you. insights and advice Thank for you. the youth. Okay, so I've been joined uh, by Dr. Wade. Dr. Dawson and Dr. Wangeshi, all from the Kenya Alliance for Mental Health, advocating for you know mental wellness. That's what they're about. Thank you for staying tuned in this particular conversation. We're going to take a short break, and then we're going to come back with another conversation. Stick with us. <laughs>